It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and we've got a showdown in the AFC North. It's the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Cincinnati Bengals, and it's all up next. We're in a city built on seven hills, and the fans hoping to see seven points on the board early. We're at Cincinnati's Pickhorn Stadium. Thanks for joining us, everyone. With my partner, Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. And like so many matchups in the NFL, Brock, our focus goes right to the quarterbacks in this one. Both of these guys, players who've been around the league now for some time, they definitely established themselves as veterans who know how to win football games. Yeah, I think the word of the day, Kate, is definitely experience. Two yeah. guys who've been through the season several times over have seen a lot at this point in their career and been through quite a bit on the field. All that experience is stored up there right between the ears. <laughs> and the one who is more skilled at leveraging that experience, very likely is going to come away with the win. Teed up Chris Boswell to do the honors. And we're off and running to Pecor Stadium. Brown with a return here. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. So here come the Bengals, ready for their opening drive. They're led out by a motivated player coming off an injury. One of the game's great young QBs, Joe Burrow. I think it's fair to say, Kate, the only thing that has slowed down Joe Burrow in his NFL career is that injury bug. Just like in his rookie year, major injury to that wrist a season ago got in his way this guy is so smooth so calm so poised he didn't let the injury in his rookie year affect him uh -uh. remember the next year they went to the super bowl and those Bengals were sure hoping for a repeat this time around year after year the best offenses are multifaceted it's not just the receivers or the tight ends that can make plays through the air when you get running backs that can attack the middle of the field like that man is it difficult on the defense Burrow setting up the play action. And this one's dropped for what would have been a nice game. That was simply a case of not enough time available to let that play develop. That throw was out so quick, and he wasn't able to reel it in. Still inches to go on third down. The tight end going in motion right. Brown on the inside give. And his short game gets them a new set of downs. There wasn't a lot there for him, but he did what he needed to do. Go get that first down. Picked up the short game, didn't risk a big loss. Looking for a bigger lane elsewhere. New set of downs for him at the 38. First down, Burrow to throw. Dumped off to his running back. Bring him down just on the other side of midfield. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. Well, that was great timing. Great timing by the big fellas to get out in front of that screen. You could see it coming. Running back has the lineman in front of him to clear a little space. It was all about his athleticism after that. Slot man motioned over. First and 10 now. Here's Burrow. Has a man. And he gets it past the 50 and down to the Steelers' side of the field. Versatility with a capital V. They can use him out of the backfield. They can line him up as a receiver. And they trust he'll get results from both alignments. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. From the gun, a get to Brown. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. His goal is pretty clear, Kate. Crash forward and then crash inside. Set that edge, but if you can come inside and bury that runner before it gets started, all the better. Third and ten. Can this offense get it done? Out of the shotgun, Burrow. He finds him 16 yards and a new set of downs. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. Yeah. 
great opening drive continues. First and 10 at the 33. Burrow from the gun. Gets it to his man, Mike Kosicki. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. From the red zone now. Has it at the seven. And he's going to be tackled, but still all the way down to the six. 14 yards on a nice play there, and it gives him first and goal. To throw again, it's Burrow. Looking end zone, but touchdown denied. I'll tell you what that deflection right there, Kate, tells me. That defense was following and reading the quarterback's eyes. Knew exactly where that throw was going. And it takes a little bit of intuition, a little bit of feel. He's able to get his hands on it and knock it out of bounds. Burrow out of the shotgun. They couldn't ask for a better start to a game than that. The offense taking it all the way down the field and finishing with six. These opening drives, Kate, are such tone setters. It is why every offense loves to script their first 15 plays, right? Everybody knows what's coming. Allows you during the practice week to get into rhythm, but even better when you're that sharp, that crisp, and you finish off and get the early lead. Evan McPherson on to try the extra point. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Bengals will jump out to a 7-0 lead. Here's McPherson on to handle the kickoff. For Darrell Patterson, now to return. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. So the Steeler offense getting out there for its opening drive of the game. Leading him out, demanding his 13th NFL season and rising quickly up the career leaderboards, Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson finds a new home in Pittsburgh, and I think he finds the exact right fit for his skill set. A team in the Steel City that loves to run the ball, play great defense. That sound familiar? That's what he did for the Seahawks for well over a decade. He's looking to rejuvenate his career after a couple of tough seasons in Denver. And this might just be the right fit. Just a gain of one, and that brings up second and nine. Wilson now from the gun. Short throws drops. This one's incomplete. First time this game they've looked to him. And that's going to leave him with a tough third and long. Ross now from the gun. It's caught Warren. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. You can earn your money in the NFL in all sorts of different ways, but defensively, in a league where you're just not hitting as much in training camp, you're not tackling as much as they got to in the old days, and you can make a play in the open field. Keep it short like that, I promise you some money will follow. Our team is on now, and they get this away. And the sunlight's not a problem for him. He looks up and makes the fair catch. That punt goes unanswered. No return there. And it'll be Bengals football. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Now Burrow. This is 
It's hauled in by T. Higgins. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Markers reset. Ball at the 37. Now a shotgun handoff to Brown. He's contained at the line for no gain. That's stop made by T.J. Watt. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. They'll run again with Brown. He's corralled after a modest four-yard gain. They're on the stop, Larry Ogunjobi. Third and six for them to figure out now. Slot receiver headed left. On third down, here's Burrow. Catches made down the right sideline. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They got 24 yards on the play. And it sets up a Cincinnati first down. That's just a gorgeous corner route by the wide receiver. I bet you'll find, Kate, in the annals of football history, the best corner route runners as receivers are also the best slant runners, the best post runners, because it's all about change of direction, and that was put on display right there. On first down, here's Burrow. That throw finds Jamar Chase. And he runs this to the 25 before being brought down. They come through with a nice scan of 10 and a first down. Chase he was looking for there. So it's second down coming up. You know, it's tough to succeed a linebacker in most defenses if you can't hold your own in coverage. They rely on you to break up throws just like that and take some of the stress off the secondary. Burrow throwing again on second and ten. Hawking isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And that pushes them back. Third down coming up. In a situation like this, you got to be a fixer. I mean, this game is hard. And you get into passing, known passing situations, it gets even more difficult. But when you don't get rid of the ball and you take another sack, you make this third down a near impossibility. Got to figure out this third down here. Burrow setting the throw. Dialing up a receiver screen. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. That chunk worth a nice 21 yards. And that gives them first and goal. So many times, Kate, when I see these receiver screens, I think punt return. It's like a punt return. On punt return, it's all about those blocks. The returner's got to catch it, and he's got to feel those blockers in front of him. It's no different on a big play like this with the wide receiver screen. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Working inside the red zone. This throw is caught. And they bring him down at the seven-yard line. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. Here's Burrow. He's got it! And he'll go down shy of the end zone. They mark him at the four. They've held him out twice. Here we go. Third and goal. Burrow. Escapes out to the left. Just a great effort.
effort there from Embrock to take it upon himself, embrace the initiative, and turn that drive into six. You know, Kate, there was a day when you were watching Steve Young, Randall Cunningham, and that felt like a bonus touchdown. <laughs> but that's not today. It feels like every quarterback's got to be able to score, be a dual threat on the ground. It's part of an offense every single team relies upon. McPherson at the point after. Extra point set right down the middle. And the Bengals drive out to an early 14-0 lead. Here's McPherson on to handle the kickoff. Has this at the six. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Steeler offense out and ready to go for their second drive. And they haven't gotten very far into their opening script yet, have they? Just a three and out to begin this game. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Carried by Harris here, start the drive. And as they bring him down, let's check the penalty flag. The game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. Ross off the play fake. He throws a bullet deep to the right side. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Wanted to get that one Mike Williams. And now they face second and long. Well, that was almost one of those nice trick plays you like to see in the NFL team before he was able to recover and provide the hit and ultimately dislodge the football. You like to see that physical edge and scrappiness to contest any kind of shot plays down the field. Cut by Fryermew. And he gets a small chunk there before he's touched down. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on the throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. This offense looking to converge as they come up on third down. It's coming, Ross gets this one to Harris, and he's tackled for no gain. i got to be honest, it hurts a little extra when it comes on third down, but it really doesn't matter what down it is. If a completed pass is stopped at the line of scrimmage offensively, that's a failure. Defensively, that's a success. The Steelers set to punt it. Charlie Jones on the Bengals' return. And some textbook work covering that punt. It is stopped after almost nothing on the return. That one, an impressive 57-yard kick. And they're going to take over possession. Here's first and 10 from the 34. It isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Did this defense ever need that or what? Just a step in some kind of right direction. Hopefully now they can build on that sack and claw their way back from this pretty slow start. Offense to the line for second down. That'll be the end of one in this AFC North battle. It's a two-score game early. We're back to Paycor Stadium right after this. Time for our second quarter. It'll be Bengals football to begin. They have second down behind the sticks. Straight ahead, it's Brown. And he's just spinning his wheels, man, this entire first half. They drop him behind the line. This offense may want to try and disguise their run a little bit. I don't know if it's the old lineman's stance. I don't know if it's a cadence. I don't know what it is, but after two straight plays going backwards, this defense is all over them. Let's see what they went with on third down. Out of the shotgun, Burrow. 
even on third down, he sees no choice other than to get rid of it. Not the play they wanted. It's going to be fourth down. The Bengals send out the punting unit. Calvin Austin on the return for the Steelers. And that fair catch corralled just beyond the 25-yard line. We don't get a return out of that punt. And the Steelers will take over possession. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and 10. And start with a give to Harris. And that one's forward for one, maybe two yards. Remain Pratt with the play defensively. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. Okay, the two-yard run on first down, I think that keeps you ahead of schedule. You're going to have to pick up the pace. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Staying on the ground with Harris. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. A couple yards on the run. It's third and six now. tough to stay set when you've got defenders doing everything they can to make you jump and well they got one of them to move that time penalty not helping their cause for this third down from the gun it's Wilson escapes the pocket oh, he lost the football and now the Bengals have it and they limit the damage on the return but it is still a turnover there are so many fundamental details for the quarterback position, especially in the pocket. But you get loose, you make a nice little run, you get in the open field, you gotta have the fundamentals to tuck that ball away. QB does it, defender knocks it out. Huge turn of events. Here come the Bengals to take over once again. They're up two touchdowns and could make it a three-score game here. First and ten now, here's Burrow. Not a great choice on first down. It's incomplete, nearly intercepted, actually. So second down coming up. Burrow from the gun. Coach, a play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and ten. Now it's Brown. And he's down into the red zone. This run gets to the 18. Call it seven yards, and now they'll have second down and three. to the air now. That's him on the quick hitter. And he'll go down. Looks like they're marking him at the 11. And that play goes for eight yards, and it keeps this drive moving. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. First down, Burrow to throw. He's on the move. And he protects himself with a slide there after a decent game. Oh, man, those defensive players hate slippery quarterbacks. Near impossible to keep them hedged in or corral them behind the line there. He evades them long enough to turn a potential loss into positive yardage. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Play action now. Burrow. Launched out of the... This time they're going to get there, and they drop it. And that pushes him back, third down, coming up. 
And it just keeps coming, Kate. It just keeps coming. This defense relentless in this first half. Third time. Now this quarterback's got to pick himself off the turf. When they get in that locker room at halftime, it's going to be a quick one. I think the whole message could be, how do we protect our quarterback? Because if you can't do that, this offense can't get started. wonder what's in the playbook here as they come up on third and 11. Burrow out of the shotgun. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Cincinnati. The Bengals take a 20 zip lead. How quickly things can change, partner. The pain from being taken down that prior play. Yeah, I imagine that's gone and forgotten now. And it's been replaced by the adrenaline from finding the end zone there. Yeah, that defense could have certainly used a pass rush from the previous play because that quarterback had plenty of time to scan the field and make a throw. And he gets an immediate measure of revenge for that sack. McPherson at the point after. The point after splits the uprights. And the Bengals stretch their lead to 21. McPherson on to handle the kickoff. Patterson now to return it. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. Now the offense getting set to go for the Steelers. And Brock, these guys are still searching. They are still searching for their first points, but beyond that, they don't even have a first down yet. Not even one? No, they're still searching. <laughs> Flags down as he stops. Looks like this one's on the offense. So now, partner, got to reevaluate what to do on this next snap because the holding call pushes him back quite a ways. the distance to go after that holding call. It's now first and 20. Ross now from the gun. It's caught. That's Calvin Austin. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. From the 29. Fryer meet there, bring it in. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Now Wilson on the play fake. They really need some chunk yardage here on second down. Trying again, following the set. And again, he goes down again. And back to back sacks. Nice work by the defense there. Sets him up for the third down. teacher and I could just hear him right now say son take this out of reverse and put it in drive because this one's going nowhere right now a drastic change on this play needed and maybe a whole lot of luck to keep this series alive so not an enviable spot here as they come up on third and very long Wilson it's caught Warren and this one gets to the 33 yard line before it stops awareness. Kate, you hear me and so many others talk about it a lot with quarterbacks. 
but it's critical for every unit on the football field. And for the defense right there, to have an awareness of knowing where the marker was and to make sure that completion wasn't going to move the chains. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. Punt meets him at the 28. And he's brought down before the return gets far. The Bengals and Joe Burrow all set to take over. Good starting field position awaits the Bengals as they get set for first and ten. Back now, pressure on its way. Got a man, it's Kasiki. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. First down, here's Burrow. And oh, someone stepped in, it's intercepted! And the Steelers nearly take it back for a pick six, but he's stopped at the very last moment. You know, I can still hear the call all the way up in the booth. Funky, funky. That's what that whole defense screams after an interception, and you see everybody getting involved. That nearly went for a house call. Just an incredible effort by that offense to run it down. But even with that, they will take that Oki any day. What a huge pick in return for that defense. The Steeler offense set to get back on the field. They're sure to be appreciative of this as they start out first and goal from the floor. Harris. It's second and goal. The run with Harris. And he's in for the touchdown. The Steelers pick it off and get points on the ensuing drive. Najee Harris, the touchdown. Chris Boswell for the point after. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Steelers get it back to a 14-point game. Now Boswell on to send this away. Brown with a return here. Holy Schultz, a burst on this return. The tackle's made, so this drive will begin at the 34-yard line. The Cincinnati offense headed out now. They are coming off their first interception of the game. This drive now a chance to rebuild some confidence. Interception last drive doesn't deter them. They go right back to the air. Just got a hand up on that to break it up. And that'll bring up second down. Well, Kate, that wasn't a fast enough break for the interception, but it was good enough and a good enough break to break on the ball, get a finger on it, and foresee incompletion. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. On the ground, Brown. And he'll be met near the line to limit the game to a yard. Patrick Queen arranging in for the tackle. Only a yard from that time, so now third and nine. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. And this one is dropped and incomplete. He had the pick in his hands. Couldn't hang on. It's going to be fourth down. Gosh, you could just almost feel his eyes up here, Kate, getting huge, right? He was envisioning the return, and he simply dropped it. Got to secure that pick before you think of anything else. They'll send out the punting unit. Got 44 yards on his first kick, Brock, and this one looks to be longer. 
Here before that return amounts to much, they bring him down. The Steelers and Najee Harris making their return to the field. Big kick on that one, 62 yards. And it'll be their football. They're out and set, first and 10. They give to Harris from the gun. And he found some running room for a nice game. It's a solid seven-yard pickup on first down. Now they're going to have second and three. Shotgun snap for Wilson. Throw secured by George Pickett. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a 26-yard pickup there, and that's a Steelers first down. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn-up completion that nets them a first down. to the two-minute warning from the jungle. The Steelers at a disadvantage on the scoreboard. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Wilson now from the gun. That one falls to the turf, couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. Had that one, but just couldn't see it through. And now it's second down. You know, I'm not sure if he was hearing footsteps or just had a surprise break in concentration. It's so unusual to see one dropped unless there's a hit involved. Defense shows blitz. Wilson. No complete to Warren. And he goes down a little short of the 40. That's a defense's goal, right, Kate? Just get us to third down so we can have a chance to get off the field. And that was a good adjustment on that stop in particular when the back ended up being the target and they were able to keep them short of the sticks. They come to the line here. This is third and six. Ross has took it again. He's there to knock away the pass and force a fourth down. Can't cover it much better than that really well covered feed on that play. There just simply was not a window for him to sneak that throw in. Corliss Waitman on the punt. And he's hoping for a well-placed strike. And he can't hurt you with the return if you just kick it out of bounds, right? So this one flies out right around the 15-yard line. So now here comes the Bengals on offense. They didn't add to their lead last time out, so they punched it away, but still ahead and able to add to it here. to throw this one taken in by Chase and they take him down at the 24 yard line that is the epitome of staying on schedule that kind of completion right there on first down well it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down and the third and short in your back pocket you can get even more aggressive and take that shot second and one that's Kasiki he's got It's a huge pickup on the play. And it'll be first down, Bengals. Okay, that play's so indicative of why tight ends in this league have become just an X factor. Like they're big, they can block at the line of scrimmage, but the elite guys, well, they've got that speed, and they can take something short and make a difference with it down the field. So the big play has him well into enemy territory and field goal range. They're inside the 30. First and ten now. Here's Burrow. Finds the in route complete. And they've got him down near the red zone at the 22. We get a timeout now from the Bengals. That's going to be their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. 
To throw again. It's Burrow. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. That's one he knows he should have had. So now they have third and short. You really want those throws to be like clockwork for your offense. Every team needs to hit passes in that short to intermediate range to effectively move the ball. Motioning the tight end left. Looking to throw on third and two. A quick slant. Here's Kosicki. And he'll go down here at the 16. He gets six on that play. And it sets up a Cincinnati first down. You know, they call that the money down for a reason. Because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. Escapes the pocket. He takes it himself. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. And there's the timeout from the offense. Just four seconds left to go. And that play, that should help him get some points here going into the half. Evan McPherson on for the Bengals field goal. High percentage look for him here from the left hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that makes this a three-score game. Well, nothing to critique there. Good snap, good hit, and it puts it through to pay off the drive with three points. Well, Brock Martin, a touchback. This kickoff should run out the half, so better make that return good as it's away. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. Looking to throw. And he just gets rid of it. Knew he had a couple of plays left. Didn't want to take a risk there on first down. We've hit halftime here in Cincinnati. The Bengals carrying a lead into the locker room. Now it's down to Florida where Jonathan Coachman is standing by in Orlando for the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Bengals got a strong performance in that first half by Joey B. Their quarterback, Joe Burrow. He threw two touchdown passes, ran for another, as his guys have the lead at halftime. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break, as we're happy to welcome y'all back for the start of our third quarter. Fielded at the seven. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Out comes Pittsburgh. Its offense has it to begin the third quarter. In that first half, they just couldn't keep up the pace, but they're going to be the ones setting the pace here to begin this third quarter. for the first time with Jalen Warren. And he has enough room to gain about four. Well, I'll steal a line from one of my buddies, but I'm going to quote him. Mark Slayer, two-time Super Bowl winner, says if you want to run the ball, you've got to keep running the ball. And that's a perfect example of it. Don't get tired. Don't get mad at gaining four yards. It's a run that can set up even more in the run game. Second and six now. Got Washington. It's complete. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. An excellent gain, 20 yards there, and that's going to move the sticks. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. The drive picks up here, first and ten. Ross off the play fake. And he's going to be blocked down after reaching the 43. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable and creates space to take that shot downfield. Second and three now. Wilson now off the play action. Big catch made, and he got both. They get 13 on the pickup. And it'll bring up a Pittsburgh first down. Going to Harris to start the half. Not 
Nice run across the 15. And finally, they catch up to him at the 11. It goes as a gain of 19 yards. And that's a Steelers first down. Now, don't think for a second they're going to slow down the tempo. Defense on their heels. And right now is the best chance to push that envelope and get aggressive. Going to the ground again on first. And he's able to fight this down to the two. Just a little short, but still a nine-yard pickup. That's going to bring up second and one. field and how fast your fortunes can turn second and short run you're feeling good about yourself and with a negative play well now comes a critical third down all plays on the table here for third and three so now they're gonna throw with wilson and they will score touchdown pittsburgh the steelers cut into the lead coming out of halftime mike williams the touchdown all right, partner, what do you think? Was that a design read, or did he just see space and he was reacting more on the old quarterback instinct there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think yes on both of them, and that play happens so fast that it really is instincts on both sides. Boswell to add the PAT. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Steelers cut the lead down to 10. That lead trimmed just a bit. Down to 10 points now as the kick is up and away. Brown with a return here. He's got a lane up past the 30. And a good return here as he gets it out past the 35. The Bengals headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And this is some quality film review right here. Look at this. Couple of touchdowns. Good amount of yards, too. He's been moving them down the field like only he can. Putting together quite the game for himself in the process. Good starting field position awaits the Bengals as they get set for first and ten. Burrow from the gun. The analytics are pretty clear. It's hard to move the ball in this league with short little dinks and dunks. You've got to get the explosive chunk. You've got to get the big play. And that throw to the outside, that gets the job done. So the complexion of this drive has changed dramatically now. New set of downs inside the 35. First down, Burrow to throw. Into the hands of Kasiki, complete. And have him gain about a handful there. Patrick Queen arranging in for the tackle. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. From the 27. That's him on the quick hitter. It looks like we can call it about four yards in the end. Minka Fitzpatrick in on the stop. I'll tell you this. You don't want to make a living throwing into double coverage, but double coverage and still finding a way to beat the defense and haul it in. That's not a situation many players win. And there aren't a lot of quarterbacks willing to make that throw and trust their receiver to get it done. Looking to throw on third and one. such an opportunity lost they were looking for a way out without giving up any points on the series and instead well, he just couldn't quite hang on third down pass didn't work but the offense staying out there on fourth trying for it with burrow 
And all their pressure gets it done. That's a sack on fourth down as they force the turnover. Well, this one never had a chance. Between the pressure right there in his face and the coverage downfield, quarterback still should have at least thrown it up there and given somebody an opportunity to make a play. The Steelers, down Russell Wilson, headed back to the field now. They got the job done there last time out. Still trailing by a lot, though, so they're going to need a repeat of that touchdown here. They'll start the drive with Warren. And he's down there to get this up to the 41. They come through with a nice gain there. Gain of 10, first down. It was University of Wisconsin, Kate. The first time I heard this term, slow to explode through. And think how good that Badgers run game has been at the college level. Well, they made runs like that look easy. Slow to explode through. Play action. It's Wilson. He's going deep this time. And this is going to end up incomplete. So really it out there on first down, but just couldn't make the connection. And that's a major missed opportunity for the offense and a sigh of relief for the defense. You've got to adjust a little bit. Get some extra help on the back end of your defense to take those shots away. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. A handoff for Harris running right. Across midfield at the 45. And he gets this down to the 38. It's a gain of 21 yards to pick up that first down. I'll be the one to say it, Kate. He gets up through that second level, 15, 20 yards. We're rooting for him to take it to the distance. It's hard to do. It's tough to make a game like this happen in the NFL. But as you saw, still even tougher to take it to the house. First down, and they go right back to it. And he's brought down for a loss. Hey, Kate, sorting through traffic, seeking out a runner. That is this guy's domain. And boy, does he know how to operate in it. Here we go, second down. Shotgun handoff to Warren. Has a lane inside the 25. And he has it almost to the red zone, down at the 21-yard line. They'll get 18 yards there. And he'll bring up a Pittsburgh first down. To be a stud back in this league, it takes more than just checking the athletic boxes. There's an IQ, a feel. A patience and craftiness required along with just tremendous vision. He showed all of it navigating that run up the middle. First and ten give to Harris. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. That's the kind of run that shows he's trying to take some stress off the passing game to provide big plays. What a great help to that side of an offense when the ground game can deliver chunk plays too. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Taking the handoff. Now Wilson. And through the back of the end zone and out of bounds. There was almost no resistance offered against the rush. It came off the line ready to maul anything in sight. It was all the QB could do to get rid of that before he gets absolutely clobbered. So after the incomplete pass, here's second and goal. On play action now, Wilson. And they will score. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. The Steelers shrinking the lead some in the third. Mike Williams, the touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. Well, they definitely wanted to get that one out quick, Brock. They did just that, and it ends in six. We hear it all the time, but it is so true, Kate. This is a game about matchups. And when you see a throw that quick, it really was determined pre-snap. It was great design and tremendous execution. Boswell to add the PAT. The point after splits the uprights. And the Steelers cut it to a field goal game. Ball is set up and it's away. Just a three-point game now. Brown with a return here. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. 
The Bengals ready for their next series. Let out on offense by their quarterback. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Shotgun hand off to Brown. And he works through the lane for a gain up to the 30. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to bring up second and six. Burrow out of the shotgun. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Well covered on that play. Really not a large window for him to sneak that throw in. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Out of the shotgun, Burrow. First down, Bengals. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Burrow. He'll dump this one off to his running back, complete. And he gets it forward to still about a yard out of that. Hit applied by Keanu Benton. I call this quarterback's best friend. Some call it a safety valve, some call it automatic, but it's sure nice as a quarterback when you got a trusty running back over the middle of the field that you can depend on. Here we go, second and nine. Finds his man, Chase. And they'll manage to contain him after about a six-yard pickup. That stop made by T.J. Watt. All plays on the table here for third and three. Tight end motioning right. Herbert straight ahead. He has the first and still good. He stopped. Now we'll wait to hear what this flag is all about. Would have liked to have kept that big play, but the officials and penalties say no. And it's got to come back. Third and long for him here. Lockett isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. Third and long, and that coordinator decides to dial up the pressure, and they get to the quarterback. You know why I love this call, Kate? It's not just because of the aggressive makeup, but you really dictate to that offense. Third and extra long is a great time to blitz, because either you get home like that, or the ball's got to come out way short of the sticks. Job well done defensively. Punt team on the field. And he's going to try to give his defense a long field to defend. And he finally gets a hold of one here. This is hit far. And he'll get under this one and make the fair catch at the 19-yard line. The Steelers back out on offense. They're running back, headed out once again. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. Russ looking to throw. Brian Neath there, bring it in. We'll head out of bounds after a small game. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Second down now, seven to go. Running left is Harris. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. 
We take a break from his regularly scheduled programming of pass coverage duties to see him adding a little contribution in the run support. And his teammates, you can just see the body language. A little nod, a little grin. They'll welcome the reinforcements every time. Throwing on third, Wilson. Hits his running back. And they take him down at the 24-yard line. And that boot will instead be what starts our fourth quarter. We've reached the end of the third. It's Steelers football. A nice help for them as they trail entering the quarter. So out now comes the punter. And he's going to do the honors for the fourth time today. And he sends this away. Definitely his best kick of the game thus far. And he can't evade the coverage team for much. They stop him before he gets really anything on that return. The home teams are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. They've got first down from the 31. Burrow to the air now. And he's going to be blocked down at the 42. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. First and ten now. Here's Burrow. Completes this one to Chase. And he goes out. Just needed one more step there to reach midfield. I know I could sound like a broken record when I talk about timing and getting the ball out on time and on rhythm, but these outcuts, it is so imperative, and the best of them make it look oh so easy. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 48. And the cover just too good there. Didn't find a throw that he was confident in, so just throws it away. Third down coming up. To throw again. It's Burrow. That's caught by the first. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big game and a new set of downs. It's a 23 on pickup on the play. And it'll be first down, Bengals. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. A new set of downs awaits him. Here's first and ten. They'll throw it again. On the quick slant here, it's Higgins. And they have this run into the red zone now at the 15. He had to pick up a 14 yards as the chains reset. You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. They'll come up first and ten. From the red zone now. He's on the move. Now he takes it. And he will score. It's a Cincinnati touchdown. The Bengals make it a nine-point advantage. Joe Burrow with the touchdown. His fourth total score of the game. And this distance, a very dangerous player on any pass play because, Brock, as he's scanning the field to throw for the end zone, he's looking for an avenue to run it to. Okay, this is exactly why it's never been harder to play defense in the NFL. The precision and the execution in the passing game, the efficiency has never been better. But then when you do cover it up, <laughs> you got guys like this who can scramble and make you pay with their legs. McPherson at the point after. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Bengals make it a 10-point ball game.
Here's McPherson on to handle the kickoff. He feels it from the eight. Good looking return here, and he's got room. Tackle made as the return gets it out to the 32. The Steelers' offense headed out. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Ross out of the pistol. And he just hucks this one away. Wasn't going to risk a throw or force something. It brings up second down. Again is Russ. That throw finds Pickens. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. Third down, one yard to go. Russ now from the gun. Throw left side, finds Firemute. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. And they've got themselves another first and ten. Running behind center with Harris. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. Only two yards, and it brings up second and eight. From the gun, it's Wilson. the tackle at the 38. They get an even 10 on that play. And that's a Steelers first down. You know, I often say there is a fine line between aggressiveness and carelessness. And when you throw in a double coverage, well, it can go either way. That time, a tremendous catch by his receiver on the other end. Now an inside handoff to Harris. And they're going to stop him after he runs it inside the 35. Halfway there on first down. That brings up second and five. Wilson now from the gun. And it looks great flying through the air, Brock, but problems on the business end as it falls to the ground. Third down coming up. I think if you look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia, that is a picture-perfect form of it. He was all over him in coverage, really forcing the incompletion. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Shotgun snap for Wilson. He has the first over the middle, and he'll pick up enough to move the chains. To the line we go. They're set first and ten. Russ setting the throw. Hits him on the out route. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. They have themselves another first and ten. Wilson, a quick throw, complete. And he has it down to the eight-yard line on the play. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options, and there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. 
Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. From the gun, they go with Harris. And he'll make the stop after a small push to the five. Just two yards there on the carry. They're going to need another two now on third down. It's coming, Ross. Too much on that, and it sails through the end zone, incomplete. Quarterbacks, well, they're a lot like sharp shooters in the NBA. Sometimes they're just going to miss. You've got to shake it off and keep on firing. Mike Tomlin never afraid to tell the officials how he feels, and he's got the challenge flag out. Oh, this one is really close, Brock. Did he establish possession and then get both feet down? Yeah, maintaining possession while being a ballerina, not always easy. A lot to look at here, but I know he thinks he's got a touchdown. Mike Tomlin shaking his head. That challenge is unsuccessful. And he connects there, so now another kick from him. A field goal will tie this game in the fourth. Set up and it's away. Just a three point game now. On the return, here's Jones. Coverage team gets him down to the 26 yard line. Out comes the offense for the Bengals. And after that touchdown, cut their lead back to one score, Brock. A response in order as they take over. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Brown on the inside give. And he's going to be brought down up at the 28-yard line. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. shotgun finds him over the middle and he's up to the 35 yard line as they reel him in third and a lone yard coming up out of the shotgun burrow with the first down yardage. Dude, I can promise you, you go back and look at the most efficient offenses in the NFL over the last couple decades, one thing will resonate. You've got to be able to attack the middle of the field. It's great to do it with receivers. It's awesome with tight ends. But when you get that influence from your running backs, man, you become a dangerous offense to stop. Makes the grab and bounds up. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain down. They get 22 on that one. And it sets up a Cincinnati first down. Markers reset. Ball at the 37. From the gun. Again to Brown. And he drives that front backward on a gate of four. Second and six coming up here. Burrow from the gun. This one taken in by Chase. And they haul him down just a foot or two shy of the red zone. Pickup of 12 on that play. And it'll be first down, Bengals. We've reached the two-minute warning from Cincy. 
Bengals holding on to a field goal lead. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. Straight ahead, it's Brown. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. The Steelers calling their first time out. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. They'll run again with Brown. And they corral him after a minimal gain to the 21. So after the two-minute warning, another stoppage here. The defense is calling time. 1.55 to go. This drive in jeopardy. Here's a third and ten. He'll throw it. Completed over the middle. And he's going to be tackled, but still all the way down to the six. Now whistles and a timeout taken quickly by the defense. 150 left to go. Victory formation here. Looks like they're going to take a knee on first down. He goes to a knee as Tom winds down in this one. This is situational football at its best. There's still some time left to bleed off the clock, but the really important thing here is you've got to bleed every second of that clock that you can. Second down. Probably going to see him kneel it again here. A give now to Brown. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. Give him four yards, and they're sitting on third and goal now. Setting up for the kneel down on third. They drop to a knee, and what little time we have left here is going to tick down. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot, and now you can enjoy the victory. Big moment coming up for Evan McPherson on this attempt. Angling this one in from the right hash, the challenge here. The kick is good. He got it! And now their lead will push out me. So the Bengals pick up the win in this one. And finally, Brock, they can exhale and take a few breaths. Because uh, I don't imagine any of them were breathing easy during that one with how close this game was. Them or us? <laughs> or both? All of us. <laughs> yeah, Dean, is, all of the above. It, it is so hard, Kate, to match the adrenaline surge they feel right now and that they felt in every major turn throughout the second half. There's just something about a close game, the intensity that's there in every moment that you love to experience as a player and that you hope in all these moments you can execute so you're the one celebrating and riding that wave of emotion.